What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another game review for you guys tonight. So, the Washington Wizards played the New York Knicks tonight in London. It was their first game in London ever. Like, they played in other countries before, but it's their first game in London. Uh, as you guys can see, I am wearing my newly acquired Christmas pajama set. It's a, it's actually a onesie. It's an elf suit. So, the holidays aren't over just yet, guys. We still have some things to celebrate. No, I'm joking, but we do have to celebrate this win because the Washington Wizards won this game by literally, literally the skin of their teeth and the skin of Alonzo Trier's forearm. Okay, if it wasn't for that whole goaltending situation, like, what if it what if it just didn't go in? Like, this is crazy. But anyway, guys, I'm just glad we came with a win because we were, it was an international game. And you don't want to go to another country and lose and then have to take a eight-hour fly back home with the stench of a loss, a one-point loss on you guys. Like, you just don't want that. So, luckily, they were able to pull this one off and come away with the win. 100 to 101. New York Knicks fall to 10 and 34. And the Wizards advance to 19 and 26. So this game wasn't the Wizards. Like, the Wizards weren't playing their best basketball, like, at all, at all. The Knicks were able to do whatever they want. The Wizards' shots weren't even falling that much in the beginning. If it wasn't for the Thomases, this game would have went way far, went way further down, way faster. The two Thomases basically held this game together until Bradley Beal could get his offense in order until and until Otto Porter could check in and try to get, you know, some buckets. It was a rough one, guys, because the defense was horrible. Like, the defense was so horrible. Like, I was watching this game with my dad, and he was like, what are they doing? They're not even trying. Like, they were just out there. It was just weird. Like, it, it took them a while to adjust. This game was a slow game. It wasn't their Wizards' best basketball at all. Luckily, they're able to come away with the win, but a lot of that I, is in part to the fact that, one, the Knicks are a young team, so they're not 100% great at closing games, and two, the, the Knicks started out really, really hot, so eventually they were going to pull down, and they did. Uh, the Knicks started out really good, especially Luke Corn. Was it Luke Cornett? Luke Cornett had like four threes. I'm going to slow down. But Luke Cornett had like four threes in the beginning of the game, and that basically like set the tempo for things. He was just knocking down threes, and the Wizards had no answer for him. So Luke Cornett played tonight in place of Ennis Cantor, who is having trouble with um, international government and things of that nature. He's fearing for his life, so he didn't come over to London because he was afraid that, you know, they would have him assassinated. Um... Let's see. So he filled in for him tonight, and like you know, Ennis Cantor is a beast on the boards, and you would think, okay, like Ennis Cantor's not here, so maybe we could win the battle of boards. But clearly, honestly, that was not the case. Like him not being there helped nothing. His team was still rebounding, and Luke Cornett was still killing them on the three point line. Bradley Beal could not get his shot to fall for anything until like the third quarter. Really the second half, but mostly the fourth quarter, that's when things, he started to come alive. Um, Kevin Knox coming off of a career high game, only had five points in tonight's game. And um, what's his name? Luke Cornett had 16 points and four threes out of that. He had two assists, three rebounds. He was killing them. Tim Hardaway Jr., which is, you know, the big score on the, on the, Knicks, he didn't, he had a, more of a quiet night, and Emmanuel Moutier actually scored 25 to a save seven runs, but I think that a lot of that had to do with the fact that Chasen Randall was on him, and though Chasen Randall did play good defense, he's really, really small, so that was a mismatch right, a mismatch right there, and they just kept going to him in the post, and then boom, he was making all his shots, so he had 25 points, Damian Dotson, 13 points. Him and Alonzo Trier combined for 26. They both had 13 points. Well, two assists and three rebounds. And he had three assists and two rebounds. Wow, if it wasn't for Alonzo Trier, we might not have won this game. Um, Mario Jonia, nothing. Frankly, Lakina, who was playing in front of his family tonight, his 
Paris family tonight. He only had three points, two assists, three rounds. I don't even know what's up with Franklin Lakeel. Like, they have so many more high hopes for him, and it's just not panning out. I mean, he is good on a good defender, but that's not going to carry you forever. Uh, Noah Vonley, 13 points, 10 rebounds. So I believe that the Wizards were out rebounded. I'm not sure. I know that the the Knicks got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of second chance points. On to the Wizards. On to the Wizards. I don't know. I'm not feeling this one tonight, guys. Um, 12 points for Trevor Ariza. His shots were not falling either. Jeff Green's shots were not falling. And like I said, if it wasn't for the two Thomases, Thomas Bryant and Thomas Saransky, we would be in a hole somewhere, like, 14 points for Thomas Aransky. He played 30 minutes, but honestly, I feel like I did not see him a lot tonight at all. I feel like Chase and Randall got a lot of his minutes or a lot of minutes in general. He had 23 minutes, 4 points, 2 assists, 2 rebounds. I really, really, really like him on defense and the way he picks you up full court, okay? 94 feet the whole way, the whole thing. Like, he's not letting up, and I really like that. That's a fresh That's fresh. For something new for us to see because, I mean, come on. We're just barely going to pick you up at half court. Barely. Barely. So to see somebody go all 94 feet, that's like nice. Um, Troy Brown, why they have less points on here for him than I believe that he had, but whatever. So he played for nine minutes tonight. He had two points. He had three assists. Three really – no, he had two assists. This is weird. They say he only had one assist, and I feel like he had more assists than this, but whatever. And he had three rebounds, but his assist came in the clutch. Uh, Y'all made him, he had eight minutes. I honestly feel like that was eight minutes too much. No, I'm just, Thomas Bryant had 16 minutes, and I feel like he should have had more. Like, he's come in the game and proved himself a lot, and I feel like Scott Brooks is still playing with him. Like, um, he's a little rookie, and we have to give him five minutes here and five minutes there. Like, he should be playing more than five minutes in the first quarter. Like, he don't need no break. He is very young. Like I said, Jeff Green's shot was not falling. Trevor Ariza's shot was not falling, but he made things happen, especially with assists. A lot of those assists went to Thomas Bryant, who had 10 points and 9 rebounds. Trevor Ariza, 12 points, 7 assists, 7 rebounds. Thomas Adaranti with 14 points, 5 assists, 2 rebounds. Uh, Sam Decker came in and made a super, super positive impact like he always does. It's always really good to see him in the game because he always comes in. And impacts the game very quickly. He was a big part of our win tonight. Him and Chase and Randall, as long as well as Trevor Ariz, not Trevor, sorry, as well as Thomas Bryant and Thomas Aransky. Otto Porter Jr. had a big night, 11 rebounds, each one of them exceptional, and each one of them coming in the clutch. Uh, 20 points. Bradley Beal, who started off horrible. He ended up with 10, 29 shooting, okay? So he ended up with 26 points, 9 rebounds, 4 assists. So he is definitely an all-star, guys. If you have not already voted him for all-star, please do so. If it wasn't for him and that assist to Thomas Bryant, we would not be here right now celebrating a win. Like I said, guys, Wizards get one. They add another win to the win column to go home to the state on that eight-hour flight. And it was saved by Bradley Beal, Thomas Bryant. And, yeah, that's about it. That's all I got for you guys tonight. Wizards play their first game ever in London. Peace, guys. It's your Janice.